I'm always looking for a good meal in a foreign country, so while in Moscow, I found good enough and tried a traditional Russian meal, vodka and all. All right, so how do we, how do we start? Uh, you don't no. you don't sip the vodka, right? No, no, bad manners. Yeah, so if you sip manners. it, it's bad. So. If you sip vodka, they ask you immediately, are you a foreigner? <laughs> there you go. No, you bang it. All right. So cheers. One Should I say bottoms up? Bottoms up, yes. Uh, then tomorrow. I chased the vodka with some smoked herring and traditional Russian rye bread. Next, I had myself some borscht a beetroot and beef soup seasoned with some dill and served with sour cream. I taste the dill, right? I taste the dill. Yeah. Uh, actually, you serve it with sour cream. Take a sour cream. A little sour cream, okay. Yep. Okay. And just like a dollop of it? Yep. That's good? Excellent. All right, so you're very talented. Then I got a little more recognizable dish with these delicious pork and beef dumplings. Apparently, Russian people loved Asian dumplings so much when they first got a taste of them that they made them their own. The larger, and then depends on where you get them, like in Taiwan, the best dim sum restaurant in the world, in my opinion, is there. And then that restaurant, the, uh, it's very thin, the dough, very thin. And when they cook it, the juice just fills, fills it up. And so when you put it in your mouth, the, the juice just melts and melts everything in your mouth. Finally, for dessert, a little ice cream to cleanse the palate, and per my guide's request, mix it in with a little coffee.